everyone. Uh, today this video is just going to be a little boots haul. Um, I went to boots today on my dinner hour because I wanted to pick up a fragrance set that I had seen in another boot store. Um, I didn't think it was a real bargain until I actually searched on the internet and thought it is a bargain. So I'll come to that last because that's really cool. <laughs> so the first thing I got is one of these Imperial Lava um, Precious. This is Night Blooming Jasmine and Cotton Milk. Uh, it's a bath cream which is divinely smoothing apparently. And it's limited edition and these were on sale for a pound on special offer. Um, and it smells so nice. Mm, so gorgeous. It's really, really big as well. It's like 500ml, so you get loads. And yeah, it smells gorgeous. Reminds me a little bit of the um, Japanese spa, Imperial Lather thing that they had. I don't know if that's still available, but yeah. Um, I also decided to get one of the Revlon Colour Stay um, concealers um, because I love the Revlon Colour Stay and haven't ever tried the concealer so I thought I'd give it a go. I got it in shade light obviously because I'm uber pale. <laughs> I don't know if there's one above this because this is number two light so I don't know if there's one that's lighter than this one which I should have probably got if there is one that is. <laughs> so yeah it's got a um, sort of spongy applicator you twist this so that the product comes out on the end um, so yeah, looking forward to trying that. I also got one of the Rimmel London Max Bold Curves mascaras. And I've tried this on my lashes today and they are quite good. It gives more length than anything I think. This is what the wand looks like. Let's try and show it against my poster in the background. So yeah, it's a curved um, brush wand the word I was looking for. Um, and I'm not usually a fan of the curved one but this seems quite good. Uh, it's not very thickening on the lashes um, but I only did use a couple of coats so we'll see how that goes. Um, I also got another one of these which are the Nailene Artificial Nail and Polish Remover. Um, I don't wear artificial nails as you can tell. This is Soiree by MAC by the way. I love it. It's so glittery and gorgeous. Thank you to people for pointing out how you say Soiree. <laughs> I know the word Soiree but I'd never seen it written down before so um, yeah didn't know how to pronounce it so there we go. So yeah I use this to get off my nail varnish because this is the best best stuff. It is really expensive for what it is. Um, it's I think it, with the new tax increase, I think it was like £6 something, but it really works because it's like uh, filled with um, product, but it's got like bristles inside it. So you just like put your finger in um, and then you can just like brush it against the bristles and it just takes everything off. It even works really quite well with glitter um, nail varnishes. Um, because usually when I have glitter on my nails, I dread taking it off because it just takes forever. With this, it still does take a little bit of time, but it, nothing compared to what it is with uh, with other products, let's say. Um, and I also got this, one of the number 17 eyeshadows. Um, just because I fell in love with the colour like as soon as I saw it, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's called Rose Quartz and it's an absolutely gorgeous colour. I just really hope that it lasts like on the eye. I love it. It's showing up pretty true to life on camera. It is just a really beautiful rosy goldy colour. Beautiful. And finally, um, the product that I've been waiting to show you is this which is the DKMY um, Be Delicious set um, and this was on sale for it was £20 but with the VAT increase I think it was like £20 and 40 pence or something so it's not that bad so this is it 
basically you just pay for the perfume and it says that your gift is the body lotion free and they had the blossom one as well which I've never smelt but they didn't have a tester out so I didn't try it um, but here it is I do have the Be Delicious um, this one's called Sweet Apples I think Candy Apples um, and these two smell very very similar um, this one's a little bit more sweet I'd say look at the packaging on that it's so cute it looks like a dipped apple whereas this one um, simpler bottle you just pull off the top and then there's your spray so yeah they smell very similar if you bought this one like I did and sort of running out I'm really running low on it um, and yeah you want something that smells because I don't think they make this anymore if you want something that smells similar just go for the original one so yeah DKMY be delicious and then you get this in here as well which is called an apple a day <laughs> it's really cute and it really does smell like apples I love the smell of apples so much so yeah that's the DKMY body lotion I don't I always get these gift sets but I never ever use the um, like lotions and bath stuff that you get with them but I do think I'm actually going to use this one because it smells of apples and I love apples Mmm, love apples. <laughs> I'm a dork. Um, so yeah, that's about it for today. Um, do you like my new t-shirt? <laughs> yeah, I'm a really big geek, but yeah. Anyone who knows, um, Aidan Grimshaw, didn't like him before. When he was on The X Factor, I didn't really get him. But as I've watched like his performances afterwards and stuff, I've got it and no way everybody was going crazy that he was kicked out. I did think that he shouldn't have been kicked out when he was, because Katie Wessel, oh, <coughs> horrible. Um, but yeah, really like Hayden now. I'm looking forward to seeing him on the X Factor tour. But yeah, he's been trending on Twitter, um, like people trying to get him signed and stuff. And I thought I would do my little contribution of my hashtag, <laughs> sign Hayden Grimshaw. Yeah. I'm I'm tweeting on my t-shirts now. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it. Um thanks everyone for watching and sign Aiden Grimshaw. <laughs>